<laughs> Good morning, party people. We've got a special guest here today. Lee's here. What up? Lee's my handsome blonde friend. Lee is also part of Team Milestone. Today we're going to run through a pool session. This is going to be back in buyers. I'd like to be more bicep focused. Great. Oh, he doesn't need any more biceps. So we're gonna warm up here. The first thing we're gonna do is single arm cable rows. This little variation I've been throwing in now, done like this. Now the beauty of doing these single arm is the whole idea when you're doing a rowing motion is trying to get those elbows behind the back as far as possible you can truly activate. By doing it single arm, it means you can get that slight twist and really pull the elbow behind the body. It means you can activate the lower lats that little bit extra. Um, you'll really feel the clench. pull-ups you can pick your poison in this one I'm doing more of a neutral grip there because it is easier on my elbows but Lee is gonna do wide grip because because he likes it but... Next up, we've got a heavy row. So this is the first of the heavy compound sort of movements. Um, this is a bent over row. We've got this like T-bar machine here. If you don't have one of these machines, you can just use this with a T-bar row. So like a landmine with a bar on it. A good thing to notice that Lee's doing here is he's keeping his chest up, facing forwards. And you can see if you come around the side here, his elbows are pulling right behind his body here. So it's contracting the back as much as he can, rowing up from the ground. So for this one, I'm gonna get Lee to talk through while I demonstrate the movement. So, no pressure. We can so, edit out any time you stuff up. We great. do it for me all the time. Not live. Thanks for doing a single arm cable lap pull down here. He's holding it in the neutral grip because it's good for his elbow and he finds it comfortable. And he's doing it one arm at a time. What's the benefit of doing it one arm at a time? Um, don't really know. It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So the benefits of doing it single arm is you keep that tension the whole way through. So once you're in, you're actually locked in, you can actually twist that little bit. So it means you can get a lower contraction into the lats than you can for pulling down side by side. It means as I said before, you can bring that elbow down, right down to the hip a little bit easier than if you're doing this double at the same time. Moving on now onto a rear delt exercise. I really like throwing in rear delts on my pull day. Um, as I said before in other videos, I feel shoulders are something that gets neglected a little bit in my current program. So I'm adding in shoulder exercise where I can. So rear delts is coming in here. Now this is a modified version I've been doing here. Rather than sitting down, chest up, I've been kind of putting my chest against the plate here. his rear delt is really activating as he's pulling in so it's isolating more of that rear delt not using as much back now at the beginning of this uh, workout I said this is gonna be a pull with a focus on arms but due to us time managing poorly it's become more of a back workout we're gonna do a drop set here so we're gonna go through and do AMRAP drop set. So we're going to go through and we've got 35, 30, 25, 20 kilo increments. Um, as I said, basic straight bar curls, 
as many reps as possible. Do it, mate. Just put it. Get it. Good enthusiasm. We're going for a minimum five to start. Fifteen, twelve, ten, ten. That one's the fattest of all. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Hurt. Yeah, the grip the last bit. <laughs> I got really tall during the workout. Uh, that's it, we're done. How are you feeling? It's got a good pump. Yep. Pretty tired. So that said, we it's didn't good. do as much arms as we planned on doing, but that's because we're also gonna train tomorrow, just quietly, so we'll make up for it then. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being uh, on camera. Thank you for having me, it's fun. Cool, see you guys soon. All right, guys back home, had a little dip, got coffee. Now we're gonna go through and answer some Q&As. Um, I asked for non-fitness related Q&As because I thought we'd do something different today. Um, I get a whole bunch of questions about fitness, but today we're gonna go through and do non-fitness related stuff. So I'm just gonna jump into them. I've got my phone here, you have to excuse me being rude, but how's the backdrop on it? Uh, okay, so starting off with, have I seen a UFO? No. I believe that the universe is too big and there has to be something out there, but I don't think we've seen ever any true evidence of that yet. Yes. Have I ever been to a Broadway show? And if so, what was my favorite? I have, I've been to a few Broadway shows. Um, Aladdin was amazing. Um, the Lion King was amazing. I went to one with my friend, um, Jesse from, you might know Jesse from Modern Family. He plays Mitch on Modern Family. He did a one man show last year, the year before I went to, and it was so good. That was wonderful. It's one of the best ones I've been to. So I would love to get to more Broadway shows. Best place to buy plain t-shirts without pockets. A good tee is worth its weight in gold. You're not wrong. I'm a Uniqlo man through and through. They do such good basics. Everything's good quality, fits really nicely. Um, and the price is good. So Uniqlo is my go-to option there. Favorite fruit, mango. I love mangoes. Um, I also love peaches and nectarines. Latest Netflix binge. Now this is not a Netflix binge. If it was Netflix, it'd be uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine because Court and I went through and re-watched all of that up to season five. Season six is not available in Australia yet. Netflix, lift your game. But we're currently going through and watching Parks and Rec because Court has not seen Parks and Rec and we're up to season three of that and loving it. What music do I listen to? I have a pretty eclectic taste in music. The music I listen to majority of the time though is pretty heavy. I'm like a heavy metal kid uh, through and through. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link below. I've got like a playlist that's my gym playlist called Angry Music for Happy People. And that's my jam right there. So you can guys can check that out. Have I been to Texas? I sure have. I drove through Texas, started last year. I went through Houston and Austin. Was there for um, South by Southwest. Do I prefer sweet or salty snacks? Sweet life for me. It's not good for my abs, but I love me a, a good tub of ice cream or some chocolate or candy or anything sweet. That's, that's what I want. Have I ever thought about being an actor? Uh, not seriously. I've been asked to audition for roles before, but I don't have any training, apart from I did drama in high school, and I don't know. But yeah, I'd definitely be open to it. I think that'd be a fun challenge to do. I just maybe need the right opportunities to come up. How long have I been working on my sunglasses collection? Um, as you guys should know by now, I have an extensive range of sunglasses. It's because I look after all my things, so some of my sunglasses are 10 years old. I do have quite a lot of new ones, but it's been just slowly amassing because I don't really break or lose sunglasses. Tattoos, what's my opinion? And if I were to get one, where and of what? I like tattoos. I think it's a really nice form of art. 
but they're not for me. I can't think of anything I want permanently on my body, so um, that's why I don't have any. So I don't know that really answers your question, but no, I don't have anything I want on me forever. How can I up my style game on a budget? I love accessories like glasses and rings, but I'm a student. Style is something that you have, fashion is something you buy. You can have style, you can wear the most basic stuff and pull it off as long as it fits well and you're confident within it. So if you have one good pair of sunglasses, they don't need to be expensive, just a good pair of sunglasses, a nice crisp white t-shirt, some good fitting jeans and some great boots, well, you've got style my friend. Do I drink alcohol? I do not, I never have. I, that's a lie, I've had a few drinks once. I've talked about this before, but no, I don't drink. Um, no drink, no cigarettes, no drugs. Favorite brand of shoe? Um, Saint Laurent boots are like my favorite boots, but they're so expensive. I've got a few pairs of them, but they're probably the ones I wear the most, Vans. Vans is just like my everyday, I kick it in old schools or authentics or skate highs. So those three are like always a safe bet for me. My favorite major sport, soccer, football, tennis, rugby. I'm not huge on watching sport. I like playing. If I was to choose one though, um, it would be soccer, football. Um, I play soccer, always have, so that'd be probably the one I'd go for. iPhone or Galaxy, iPhone. I'm not against using the others, but I've just only ever really known iPhone. I'm not great with tech too, and iPhone, Apple make everything so easy to use. Have I been on any other shows apart from Ninja Warrior? Yep, I hosted a few things for MTV um, before, and I've done like a few little interviews on uh, like morning shows and stuff like that, but nothing like consistently on television. If I was an ice cream flavor, what would I be? <laughs> um, that's a, I don't know what I'd be. Pokey pokey? Because then I turn around, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what I know. If I get a small giggle out of you, I know I've answered okay. Boxes or briefs? I'm a briefs man, personally. If you have to eat one type of food the rest of your life, what is it? Italian food. I love Italian food. Like, good Italian food, not cheap Italian food. I, Italy is the best for eating. When I was in Florence, I went to town on pizza and pasta and all the good stuff. What retail store did I work at before becoming an influencer? I like that that's actually in captions. Um, I worked for a company called General Pants for a couple of years, and I worked for another company called SDS before that. Oh, when are we going to see more skateboarding followed by waterfall adventures? That is definitely something on the cards. More adventure vlogs and stuff like that. It gets harder as it comes into winter here, having said that I'm sitting without a t-shirt on in the sunshine right now. Um, but yeah, we can definitely do some more adventure vlogs. I've got here from, are you a Star Wars fan? Are you a Marvel fan? Are you a Lord of the Rings fan? Yes. <laughs> yes to all. I like all, man my nose is so itchy. I'm a big fan of all of those like um, fun fantasy type things. So if they're done well, I'm a big fan of them. Would you rather have a dog with human hands or a cat with a human face? I like a cat with a human face because I assume that means it could talk. Imagine having a tiny kitty cat you could like pat and talk to, unless it was sassy and it was rude to me. Yeah, I stick, stick with a cat with the face. How many piercings do I have? I currently have my nose ring and my ears. I did have the other side of my nose pierced years ago, but that is uh, there no longer. How long do I plan on staying with Gymshark? Um, I'm super happy. Gymshark are amazing, super supportive, very easy to work with. I love what they're about. I plan on staying with them long term. So fingers crossed that happens. <laughs> the most adventurous experience I've ever had. I, I've done some like, off the beaten path stuff, but I'd say like the most cool adventure stuff is a few years ago I did a job with Kentiki Travel Company, and the job was to go and do every action adrenaline experience I could in the South Island of New Zealand. So I went bungee jumping, skydiving, whitewater rafting, cliff jumping, canyoning, jet boating, all the fun stuff. That was amazing, so much fun. Um, I would love to do that again. Uh, did I like the fact that I shaved my face? Yeah, I'm open to it. Uh, I think I prefer having a beard at the moment, but yeah, I didn't hate not having a beard. That's a, quite an easy one. Body grooming regiment tools and frequency. I've got a video on this. If you guys want to check that out, you can click up there and see that video. What's my position about abortion and LGTB movement? I think everyone is entitled to their own choices, particularly when it comes to uh, abortion. That's women's body, her choice. So I think um, you do you. That's not my decision to make for anyone. 
Would I prefer to wear suits every day or lumberjack style? <laughs> I don't know about lumberjack style, I don't really feel like carrying an ax around, but for everyday style, I'm gonna go with just like basic jeans and a t-shirt and boots, I'm happy like that. That's gonna do us. I'm not gonna answer too many more, but if you guys have more questions, you wanna see these more in detail, well then, you're always welcome to ask questions. I'll, um, I'm thinking about doing live on Instagram in the next week. If you guys wanna see that, make sure you comment below, let me know, and that'll do. I'll see you guys next time.